In this lesson, we are going to focus on uh, the perimeter of an isosceles triangle. Now, based on the question I posted earlier, we can see that this is an isosceles triangle because the two sides are what? They are equal. You can see the sign showing that the two sides are equal. Now, the base from here of this triangle is 12 cm and why the area is 48 cm uh, square. The question says we should find the perimeter of the isosceles triangle. And remember, before you can find the perimeter of an isosceles triangle, you need to know these two equal sides. Then you need to multiply by two and add it to the base before you can know the perimeter of an isosceles triangle. But from here, we don't know what the two sides are. So our aim is to know what a side will be. If we can get a side, then we know that it is equal to the other side. Then we'll just take one of the sides, multiply it by two. One of the equal sides, multiply it by two, and add it to the base. It gives us the perimeter of the isosceles triangle. So, now, and for us to work out one of its equal sides, we need to know the height of this triangle. It's very easy to get the height. What you simply need to do is, you're going to multiply the area by 2. When you multiply the area by 2, you divide by the base. To get the height, that will be 2 times area divided by the base. So that it gives us what, 2 times 48 being the area divided by the base 12. Now if 12 goes in 48, we have it as 4. And 4 times 2 will give us 8 centimeter. So the height of this uh, triangle is what? Is 8 centimeter. Now, now that we have the height, let's now work out one of the sides. The height will assist us in working out one of its equal sides. Now, this then means that the Pythagoras rule will be useful here. So the height divides the triangle into parts. So either of the parts facing the left hand side or the right hand side can be used to find the what? Uh, the, one of its equal sides. So if I bring out the triangle, remember that if I bring out this triangle, I'll be having parts like this. And once the height comes in, it affects the base. So that means here will be 6 cm. Here will be 6 cm. This is 90 degree. This is 90 degree. Now, we will know that this side is 8. This side is 8. So either of these can be used to find one of its equal sides, that is either here or here. As for me, I want to use this uh, angle that is facing to the right to get one of its equal sides. Now, this then means that, remember that from the rule of uh, right angle triangle, the side that faces the 90 degrees, the hypotenuse side. So this then means that we are finding the hypotenuse. So, uh, hypotenuse squared is equals opposite squared plus the adjacent one squared. This is what we have to use. So that if we solve that now, we have it as uh, the hypotenuse squared will be equals the opposite from here is the side that faces the theta angle. So it has to be 8. So we have it as 8 squared plus the adjacent c squared. So that hypotenuse squared will be equals uh, 64 plus what? That is 6. Now when we add this up, we have it to be the hypotenuse squared will be equals what? 64 plus 36 is 100. So we are going to take the square root of both sides to set the what? To set uh, the hypotenuse free so that the square will cancel the root. Then the hypotenuse from here will be equals what? 10 what? Centimeter. This then means that we worked out one of the side as what? 10 what? 10 centimeter. So if I worked out here, that means it's equal with here. Now we know what the side is. So we have here as 10 cm and 10 cm. Now we know what the side is now. We can easily calculate the perimeter of this isosceles, isosceles triangle. And remember from the formula, the formula is given as 2a plus 1 plus the base. That's how to calculate the perimeter of an isosceles triangle. This is 2 times one of the equal sides. And we've got one side as 10. Because of these two equal sides, that's the reason why we are multiplying by two. So this has to be two brackets. One of the sides from here is equal side is 10. Plus the base from the triangle is 12. Now two times 10 will give us 20 plus 12. And when we add this up, we have it as what? That is 2 what? Centimeter. The perimeter of this isosceles triangle is 32 centimeter. 
I hope this video was really helpful to you. If it was, smash the subscribe button, leave a like on this video and share this video. I really appreciate that. So I'm going to see you on the next video. Thanks so much for being